Hi, I'm Richard Seff, and I'm an estate planning attorney who does nothing but estate planning and elder law. And that's important for you to know because that means I keep up on the latest developments in that field. Now I want to talk with you about the kinds of services that I provide. And it covers a range of services. Where we always start, though, and everyone needs, most everyone needs, is a foundational estate plan. This is to avoid probate because we are custom designing and a foundational estate plan which includes your living trust uh, and includes what I call the personal asset trust which is exclusive to my practice. Uh, it provides asset protection for your beneficiaries. Too many estate plans lack that where you see outright distributions to your loved ones that can be lost through judgments, lawsuits, and the number one way that they lose half their inheritance is through divorces. And given the high rate of divorces, that's a real threat. That is the number one threat to your loved one's inheritance. The personal asset trust is like a legal vault and can prevent that. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind when you're doing your estate planning. Is, it, is, is your beneficiary's inheritance asset protection? Protected, and in ours, it is. Uh, even though the living trust is a complete will substitute, there are reasons to have a pour over will. So a pour over will is included in your estate plan. A very important document uh, that's included in your basic estate plan is something called the durable power of attorney. This is the situation where you're incapacitated. Say you have suffered a stroke and you're in the nursing home and you need someone who has the legal authority to be you, to collect your mail, to pay your bills, to manage your bank accounts. This is very, very important. It avoids what I call the living probate. The trust avoids the after-death probate, but it's the durable power of attorney that avoids a living probate. Without such a document in place, you'd actually have to go to court and do what we call a conservatorship to have someone legally appointed to do it. It takes time, it takes a lot of money, it's something you want to avoid. So the durable power of attorney, critical document.